Hello everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to our next vlog, Screen Time and its Damaging Effects. We used to use screens purely for research, communication, and emergencies, but the world we live in today has greatly changed. It's often we walk through grocery stores and see toddlers with a screen shoved in their face or a crying baby who is calmed by their mother's phone. Teenagers can't catch a break from things like Snapchat and Instagram, and even their parents can't get enough of Facebook and the news. Technology is all around us, and honestly, there's no escaping it. But our health is being greatly damaged. Screen time is damaging to people of all ages, no matter if they are children or adults. Children are losing their ability to be imaginative and creative, and this happens because they aren't allowed to be bored. In boredom is when ideas come and creativity starts to develop, but children are constantly seeking entertainment. Even as a teen, I can admit that if I'm bored, I will often resort to watching TV or scrolling through Instagram. But what we need to be doing in times of boredom is honestly going outside and appreciating what's around us. As I mentioned in prior blog posts, we often get the greatest ideas in the shower because that's when we are focused uh, to be away from our, or when we are forced to be away from our technology. In the shower, our brain is allowed to just roam around in our thoughts, unlike the rest of the day when we are constantly being stimulated with what's around us or technology. Screens are also very detrimental to our health and can cause severe issues. Watching TV often leads to eating snacks, binge watching shows, which is followed by binge eating, less sleep, and the end result is weight gain. Following this pattern can lead to obesity. Staring at our phones can cause strained eyes, dry eyes, blurred vision, and headaches, along with poor posture, which leads to chronic neck, shoulder, and back pain. The blue light of screens increases sleeping issues because of the effects of the circadian rhythm. The blue light from digital devices actually suppresses the production of the hormone melatonin, which is sleep promoting. This keeps us from sleeping well, so it's extremely terrible to be on your phone before bed or when you, right away when you wake up in the morning. Instead, try reading some books or even coloring or journaling. Things like this will ultimately relax your mind. My personal favorite is to read a book before bed. I usually read for 30 minutes and this does wonders for relaxing my mind slowly and preparing me for sleep. Too much screen time can also lead to less efficient um, information processing, which is terrible for everyone, but especially for children and the elderly. I have observed from babysitting that many parents will give their child food and a show to watch. I even remember a family friend whose baby switched to solids, so he was only a few months old, and he would not eat and throw a tantrum if he wasn't watching a show. Such dependency for screens at such a young age is terrible and honestly frightening. If screen time is damaging for our brain's cognitive function, imagine what that can do to a baby whose brain is still developing. This is truly, that there's truly such a thing as an addiction to screens, to screens, and it shows all around us. Tech addiction impacts the same part of our brains as drug and alcohol, and the signs of addiction to screens is very similar to the signs of an alcoholic. People may point it out and say things like, get off your phone, but they find creative ways to lie and discreetly use their phones. I'll never forget the countless times teachers told students in my classes to put their phones down. When the teacher isn't looking, they hold their phone in their lap and continue scrolling. It's almost like phones are like security blankets and our dependency is out of hand. So what can you do to change this? Start off by thinking about what you truly want in your life and in your future. Is your use of technology and addiction to screen stopping you or helping you achieve your goal? Most likely it's stopping you from reaching your goals because you cannot stay focused when doing tasks or can't be motivated enough to get off your phone. You can set rules for yourself in place, like to eat at least one meal a day without your screen, then two, then all your meals. Take daily walks or exercise without your headphones plugged in and sleep with your phone in a different room. Then you can turn off notifications and set firmer boundaries. 
Phones are starting to have apps that track your screen time and can send you weekly updates about how you're doing. I personally love this because if my phone tells me my screen time has increased by a certain percent, it makes me feel terrible, but when it says it has decreased, I'm ready to celebrate. Screens are inevitably part of our lives, but being conscious of how they are implemented into your life is crucial. Limiting your use of technology will, keep, will help you think more clearly and, and relatively. Maybe you will regain your imagination and feel like a kid again, or you'll spend more time around people socializing and making friends. Either way, less screen time is always better. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope you go uh, check out our blog where you could read more about um, technology and its damaging effects, and also you can um, find some resources in the blog. Thank you. Bye.